you're going to see a very interesting array of characters this season. I really look forward to seeing what characters are created and, and who we get in to play them. We needed to do a little deputy replenishment because we lost Emmett Yawners at the end of season two. I still come in every day expecting to see him up there. So we brought in Chaskay to play Billy Raven. It's great to be working in an actual functioning police station. Functional. That's us. He joined the BSD to get off the reservation to protect his family, and he grew up with Shaden. People are getting hurt. Our people. Tell me if you've seen Shaden. Get the hell out of here. The relationship that he has with the Kanaho, and in turn the Red Bones, really affects story dramatically, so he's been a great addition. What are you thinking going to the dog iron in a BSD uniform? He's following me. I wasn't talking to you. We've built in this tension between the Native American culture, so we start to see a larger social issue play out in a very personal way. You're a badge. Don't mean shit around here. Oh, oh, oh. Going with the theory that everyone in Bantry used to be somebody else, we brought in Tom Pelfrey to play Kurt Bunker. Bunker is an ex uh, neo Nazi and want to get a job with Sheriff Hood. Sorry, Bunker, position's filled. But you can hold on to that. Obviously, how I look, it's a bit dicey. He's very intimidating with those Nazi tattoos when he's got his shirt off. He's a big dude now and he's a force to be reckoned with. Why are you back? It's time to come home, man. Okay, we got a prowl call. Lay said there's a guy hiding in a shrubbery in her backyard. Cool. I'll get it. One of the other things we see is that Brock has an ex-wife. Another prowler, huh? Have a drink with me. Still sort of an angry relationship. There's still a lot of bitterness there. We got divorced because you were fucking Elliot Granger. I was fucking Elliot Granger because you were never home. Classic chicken and the egg debate. Brock and Emily work out their unresolved issues, their frustrations in a sexual way. <laughs> It was nice to finally realize that Brock has other needs as well. You got some lunch meat? I'll make us uh, some sandwiches. Carrie has a new Mr. Wrong. What are you doing? She strikes up a love affair with Colonel Douglas Stowe. You can't do the heist if you're involved with a target. Well, I fuck is none of your business. It is when it affects the job. He's kind of a shell of calm, but deep down inside of him is molten lava ready to explode. <laughs> Colonel Stowe is just a lot of fun. With each episode, you realize he's even crazier than you thought. If you're going to rob somebody, don't rob the homicidal maniac who's got a whole team of commandos. It's not the Marines I'm worried about. It's the Mercs. What kind of Mercs? We've had some really notorious villains this season. Almost like a gallery now of different sorts of Banshee antagonists. I don't know what they will think of next.